open up the playpen. Ha 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 ha! We took out the baby maker and opened up the playpen. Yeah, Winnie. I couldn't stand the stink in there if I went to his lobby or his apartment. You know what I mean? Them guys are nasty. You know that, right? And black people don't take a bath. Oh my God. They got these, they get these, what they call ringworms in their head. Oh, my God. And the, talk about lice. Oh, my God. And the women are just, they, oh, God, no. I was like, I want to. Oh. They stink that bad. Oh. And their clothes are probably all just, ugh, you know. Oh. Yeah, I had one of them. Alrighty, folks, we got another one, you know. If Barry's gonna sue me, though, I'm gonna make it damn sure worth my while. So, I think, maybe not tomorrow, because I got shit to do, but maybe... Maybe, uh, let's see, Sunday I got shit to do. So let's say Monday. I think me and I are going to start doing reactions one every morning. And then our usual three at night. And then every single one of them from now on, they yeah, just put at the front of the video. And at the end. Barry. You're a liar, Barry. You're, you're, you're a hack. You've never been shit. You'll never be shit. Your dad was right when he looked at you, and I promise, sometime in your life, your dad looked at you and said, boy, you ain't never gonna be shit. And he was right, Barry. Your brother was right about you, everybody's right about you, Barry. You take your boy's YouTube career, you just destroyed his fucking channel, because you wasn't man enough to say, to get real and be honest and say, yeah, I said this, guys. I did this, I'm sorry, I'm gonna try to be better. No, Barry, you doubled down and tried to deny that you said any of that shit. By definition, the shit you said makes you racist. You're 61 years old saying that shit to girls that say they're 18 but look like they're 50. They're minors, Barry. That makes you a minor attractive person. Period. The facts are the facts. You go, go do what you have to do. I'll pay for the lawsuit. Just let me know. I'll meet you at the courthouse and drop the caps right there. Let me know when you're ready to file. Barry, you ain't about to slice our point. Your typical spill, you're spinning out of control right now. You're losing. I mean, you're not, what happened to winning? You're losing. You've lost friends in YouTube. You've lost fucking money at YouTube. You realize your YouTube career is never going to be what it could be. Nobody's going to want to collab with you. You're done. Even if today something was to happen, I dropped dead. The fact that you will never be what you could be because of that racist pedo shit you said. Is enough to make me rest in peace. I mean, Barry, you have all the opportunity in the world. Justify the shit you said. Let's go on live, Barry. Justify it. You keep saying we're lying. We're not lying. Justify the shit you said to them little girls, Barry. You're 61. Justify it. The facts are the facts. The, the, other, the other shit is just comedy, Barry, because you're a clown and we have to laugh at you. Because, Barry, if we don't laugh at you, Barry, we look at the world and we see you. And we see the way the world's going. And if we didn't have you to laugh at, buddy, we would lose all hope for the future of this fucking planet. Because if all the future looks like it's assholes like you in this newer generation, we're fucked. Hey, Dad. I mean, hey, Dad. Well, Did you know that DeWalt is DeWatt? The L is silent? I mean, it's just a clown. I mean, we have the right to do that, Barry. It's DeWatt, not DeWalt. I mean, the L is silent. <laughs> he's a joke, dude. He was that kid at when he was young. You know, he's gonna stop his feet and he's going I'm gonna take my toys and go home because you said my mama stunk. If you had if you had any care for your kid, you would step away from this TV show, hand it back to him. I mean you're not even smart enough to separate your shit. You gotta you call your channel a garage. People log onto a garage to see auto related content. They don't log into a garage channel to see an asshole sit on PlayStation and cry about two grown men all night. You're not even smart enough to make another channel for that and another channel for the drama shit. Yeah, but... You're not even smart enough. Do you know why you won't do that though, Barry? Because if you started another channel, you wouldn't make no money off of sitting there playing your game. That seven cents for them two viewers you're getting... I mean, you're a joke, Barry, and you're done. Why should you have a voice, Barry? 
Why should you be able to get away with saying the shit you said about kids like my nieces and nephews, about people like Mako, and about African? Why should you be able to get away with that shit? Because you're very fucking beamer and you're special and the fucking whole world owes you fucking something? Because that's how your punk ass acts. You piece of shit. I had a question, Barry. How do you like them? How do you like them memes, Barry? You touch the nerve. Your fucking career is done. Why did you have a fucking voice? So we're in this one with the dice bag in here. There's a YouTuber kid today accused of being a pedophile, dude, and he did nothing wrong. He TikToker. Never did shit to anybody. This kid killed himself. You're a piece of what? You're garbage. You are the minor attractive person. You piece of shit. Don't let character flaws. So wait till, dad gets, wait till dad gets in here and we'll do a reaction to this one. And one more thing, Barry, before we get into this one. Um, you say whatever you want about me. I don't really give a shit. We'll just keep doing the same reaction. I'll keep clowning on you. It's not stopping. But one thing I have that you don't have, and it's dwindling away, is time. You are getting close to the hourglass is getting closer and closer to being out of sand. And you're not going to have anything when you pass. I still have a chance of having something when I pass. You're wasting your last years on this dumb shit. Literally, you're wasting your life. You have 80 cars, right, Barry? I mean, you have 80 cars, Barry. You're wasting your life sitting on a PlayStation playing games just so you'll have company. Because you're so fucking lonely in that fucking house that's fucking collapsing around you with all the junk and clutter just fucking suffocating. I mean, go check soul. out. Look, look at this fucking front I room. mean, you, the only reason you play PlayStation don't build cars is so you have company. Because you're a lonely, miserable, old fucking pedophile. Nobody loves you. Nobody gives a fuck about you, Barry. What I give a fuck about is the hate shit that come out your motherfucking mouth. And I tried to warn you about it. And you told me, fuck you. You can say what you want to say. So if you're that type of person that feel like you can just spew out all the hate speech you fucking want and hurt people's feelings, attack people, do Mr. Obvious's, and, and you can do whatever you want, but nobody can do that. We're going to bend him over the fucking, his fucking 69 Mach 1 and give it to him. I mean, you're, you're a joke. Barry. Listen, folks, this is how delusional Barry is, right? If y'all haven't gathered already, he's pretty fucking delusional. Like, he's not staying in the head. He's moved that dog up by his house, by his front door. Because he actually thinks internet shit, besides him, because he wants to go somewhere. But me and Dad, we don't have time to drive over to Ohio and, and fuck with him. I don't want to fucking... Fuck I, I mean, he's not worth He's fucking... Figuring. You're not worth the felony charge, Barry. And, that, and that's that's an aggravated felony charge, because that would mean that, hey, you were Listen, premeditated. Man, I stopped being a knucklehead in 06. In 06 is when I got a reality check, and I... And, and like you, Barry... I stopped being the waste of space that I was being. I stopped being the drain on society. Can you imagine if you, can you imagine a young 20 year old Jack would have been so I like Barry? Barry would have been done. If I was 20 years old, this would have been over a long time ago. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's not a joke. I mean, everything on you is public, right? I mean, might well look, Barry might look and go off. Because the minute he made it sound like that, there's something wrong with my nieces and nephews. And I'm not even close to my nieces and nephews. But you're not going to make it sound like there's something wrong because they're mixed race. Period. But we're going to get into this. We're going to roast them enough. With the I have young shit. daughter, you sick son of a bitch. Any of your fucking friends that's got young daughters, he has looked at your child and it turns him on. He's not just looking at your daughter thinking, or your granddaughter thinking, hey, she's a pretty girl. He's looking at her thinking, oh, man, I'll bet well, I know what's under well, their clothes. You notice this? I mean, you know those this? are facts, folks. That's not made up. That's not my fucking opinion. That's a fucking fact. Well, you notice these friends have stopped coming around somewhat. Like, you used to have all these people supposed to be coming around, being around. And ever since he did video Super Sam, he started telling people about us. I mean, nobody's attacking you, Barry. You brought this on yourself. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't come to you, man. You and said, fuck me. I can say any fucking thing I want to say to anybody I want. It's none of your business. Well, it is my business, bud. And then one more thing. Barry, you said I ran to my dad, right? Well, if I ran to my dad, what... I else? started this, not him. What's that make you? You ran to Super Sam. Right, I mean... What's that make you? Well, he is a hypocrite, man. He, he, he could do Mr. Obvious after Mr. Obvious after Mr. Obvious over people just saying the obvious things to him. It's only obvious they were just saying the truth to you. That car looks like a project. 
So you put this dude on blast, run his tail down, talk about stomping his teeth out in your driveway because he said the obvious that the car is a project. Which you think Mr. Obvious would be able to handle the obvious. Handle the obvious. That's what I'm saying, Barry. If you had any brain, if you had a decent bone in your body, you would come out and say, you're right. He literally, you're right, Jack. Everything you say, you're right. I'm sorry, I'll do better. And you would do better, but you're not. You're a fucking coward. You hide in your house on that fucking PlayStation, talking shit about hurting people, killing my kid. <laughs> you're a fucking joke, dude. I mean, you're a coward. And you're going to do what cowards do. You're going to sit and do what you did today. You're going to you're going to show people our video. They're going to come to our channel, you dummy. They'll see the proof that you said the shit you said. I mean, your your mama, did she drop you on your motherfucking head when you was a kid? I mean, I don't know what happened to you, but you are the dumbest motherfucker I have ever in 40 fucking 6 years have dealt with. I've met crackheads with more I mean, fucking He has things. no sense. He literally cannot get out of his own way. I mean, you literally put our video up on your phone, which is what we're doing here. The same exact thing, Barry. You're going to sue us for it, but you do it. Hey, Barry. That's, a, that's what a clean shit. phone looks like, by the way. I hope you do. I hope you perjure yourself, Barry. Please do. Waste my time, take time out of my day to have to go to court. To show what I will show them, the same shit anybody can see. And win the, the, the lawsuit that I file against you in return. Because, because I will win it. Because, Barry, I want you to look at, take a hard look in the mirror. You look like a pedophile. That's how a judge is going to perceive you. It, it, none of that even matters. Look, it ain't about perception. It, it, it in, in court, it is about perception a lot of times, especially in small claims. Because small claims courts don't work on evidence so much. It's on our preponderance of the evidence. And that's the term, preponderance of the evidence. In real court, criminal court, you need hardcore evidence for what <laughs> they say. But in civil court, the judge just needs to believe one more than the other. But there's hardcore proof here. It's not like it's just my word. I'm saying Barry did this. Barry is this. There's fucking evidence of it. Think dude. about it this way. Think about it this way. Mm -hmm. uh, he could have done a video dude, today explaining why he's not what we say he is. Yeah, it, no, He never wants to deny it. No, he, he says you guys want to point out my flaws. Buddy, them are not flaws. You thinking that your fucking granddaughters... Our hot pieces of ass is not a goddamn flaw, you sick son of a bitch. You, a 61-year-old man, looking at an 18-year-old on paper girl that looks like she's 15, talking about giving her candy to be your little girlfriend, it's not normal, you sick son of a bitch. And young pussy is better than old pussy. Yes, you said that, motherfucker. You sick fucking coward. So, Dad, before we get into this, why do you think he's obsessed? Why do you think when he talks about me, he gets so pissed off? Because we clown on him, buddy. Nothing he said. I mean, that's what I'm saying. You can say anything you want about us, Barry. Anything you... It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's never going to matter, Barry. You're done. It's never going to change the fact that you said what you said. It's never going to change the fact that every night when you go to sleep, you go back to the day you told me, fuck you, motherfucker. I can say what I want to say. You go back and you replay that day in your head, and I promise you cry yourself to sleep at night, you fucking coward. Wishing you could take that shit back because if you hadn't done that, we wouldn't even be here right now doing this. Nobody would have ever known none of your little secrets. But it just goes to show in life that somebody's always fought your battles for you. You've never had to take care of business on your own and handle consequences. You're learning today, bitch. You're learning now. Because I haven't said one thing about you that that's not fucking true. He didn't even know who the fuck that. First of all, you call state police, Barry. Yeah, the FBI. The FBI. So it's a, is it a kidnapping case? I mean, bank, a, bank robbery? That's how you can tell he's a fucking idiot because it would be the ATF, you dumb fuck. Alcohol, tobacco, and firearms, you fucking retard. Jesus Christ. The only one that's going to be in trouble for that, and, and I don't know if the state police will take it, take it or not. I, I don't know. If, if like, like my friend says, if they do their fucking job like they're supposed to fucking do, uh -huh. No, 100% take a seat. I think once we show Barry's tweets to him, you know and then the mean? firearm... Oh, yeah, once, and once you show that he actually likes young girls I mean, and shit, I think a state cop will uh, take it seriously. I, I think they will. Because you can't deny it's a shotgun. You can't deny it's the same fucking shotgun that his boy had against the garage in the other video. So let's get into the review. I mean, the only one guilty of anything like that is you, dummy. I would never be caught on fucking film with a gun in my hand, you fucking idiot. 
Uh, our last video uh, was the cleanup of the tree. You know what we need to do? Uh, the the serious note? And Tomorrow, I need to take Captain Ball Revolver right out there and get a video of you ground. holding it. <laughs> He's fucking pathetic. I mean, at five o'clock in the morning, five, not even in the morning, five o'clock in the afternoon, you're still in your skibbies. Like, how do you think, buddy, you're gonna look to your fucking friends on PlayStation and talk about whooping her ass? Now you're back to talking about suing everybody. And uh, what, can you imagine when he goes to Boston? When he goes to Boston to sue, and and fucking he goes and says, "Well, hey, this is this lipstick garage is him." <laughs> one minute, one minute it's only us and Marco. The next minute it's lipstick now. <laughs> Why do you need your buddy's help to split wood? You're such a bitch. It's called kindling, Barry, not brush. But, I mean, you did pronounce the Watt as the Walt. I don't know. I, if you was a man, you would come out and address the accusations, Barry. Not, not you. You own up this shit. You're pointing out my character flaws. You did bankrupt your kid. How do you figure you're not a part of him getting sued right now? How do you figure it's not partially your fault? Oh no, he's gonna show off his great chainsaws again, you guys. The steel that was such a steel. In between Bethel, where I work at, and Georgetown, where, of course, if you guys remember, you know, go back a couple videos, you'll see a... You'll where I got my first butt plug at. Where he grew up at as a child. Look at the uh, gap on the hood, folks. And so Hamersville, it's pinched there, really right wide there. up here. That should tell you how that body is. Uh, to help get this Look at the gap. Wide. Pinched. That ain't from no tree, either. You have a really wide gap at the front. A really thin gap at the back. Look at the gap on this side. That should tell you how the fastest side of that car is. I mean, I cannot believe that, dude. That whole pasture side is fucked. Really, that gap looks kind of even until you get to the middle. Then it gets wide, and it gets tight in the middle, wide at the front. Pasture side is wide at the very front, and it's almost non-existent in the back. Check them out. I got a business card. I didn't bring it with me out here to shoot the video, but they're in the book. Next time I'll come on, I'll, uh, I'll bring Did you walk up to him, Barry, and go, we're Beamer and Sons Garage. Check us out on YouTube like you did at the fuck car show. No wonder you didn't come to Andy because nobody wants to hear you say that shit. Got it all cleaned up thanks to those guys. You have a t-shirt on. If they want to fucking subscribe, they can look, read your t-shirt. Uh, for those guys, uh, I was able to do this job. You know, I'm glad he does. The more people he does that, somebody, the more people I know he's a fucking nasty guy. Twenty dollars. You could be my little sex slave. The Twenty-seven dollars and bam. The job's done, okay? Now, yeah. Okay. I got a job you can come do, Barry. Get on your knees. Today. Better bring the knee pads. I got a goddamn feeling if they ever go and check their the search history of their house, like check their, the house, like the check their however the fuck they do that, they're going to be fucked. He'd be fucked. That's what I'm saying. We show, that, that's what I'm saying. If we show the cops that and the gun, they're going to come looking. And then they're going to confiscate phones, probably. Fucking laptops. So, Everything. Yeah, it's going to be 600 for that. And this was like three. And Barry, you can delete, delete, delete. Just because you delete something off the internet doesn't mean it's gone. Yeah, look at that hood gap. Jesus, what is wrong? You can come after my kid for what I've done. You can come after my kid for what I've done. I think I'd like the medical better. Yeah, I think I'd like the medical better. 
It's going to protect, of course, going to save the radiator, you know, the core support, it's going to save a lot of stuff that's under that. It barely even cracked. He's only doing it because I said I didn't want his nasty ass AIDS with a blood over me. So I could fuck him up and then he'd go across and be like, he hit me, I'm a 61 year old man. You know what would happen is you, you would kick this fucking piece out. Two weeks later, you would die for a hammer. Exactly. And you would go down for manslaughter. Exactly. I mean, he's not going to fight anybody. Period. And that's it. You ain't worth the fucking the charge. You don't have to fight. I found a quarter panel for 150 bucks. Stop a number. I'm going to buy that quarter panel too. Hey, did you buy it? I replaced this old wrinkled quarter panel. Well, at the frame. You said the frame's fucked. Think about it. It's a playground kit. Oh, are you going to get your daddy to beat me up? Get your face dick, Tracy. Hey, Barry. Hey, Barry, I bet if your dad was still alive and your dad would like to, you bet you go get your dad with you. Oh, wait, you got Super Sam. He is your daddy. Got a quarter? It's a Super Sam. might be an innocent thing. I mean, I'm not so sure that Super Sam's a bad dude or anything like that. I'm not. <laughs> Barry's it's his friend. Cool. He caught him on the spot. What was Sam supposed to say? You know, if you come behind this car, you're usually going to be looking at nothing but the taillights. If Jacob would have been, been like, yeah, and I didn't want in it, and Jacob's like, hey, you're doing, doing a video, I would have been like, been like, quit. I don't know what's going on with it. Cut it off. I don't know if it's a spark issue, tiny issue. Uh, we're going to get back on this. We need tires. Three years later, folks, the car's sitting in the same spot in worse shape. Just wanted to come back on here give you guys an update. For Super Sam to back you, you would have to be saying, hey, it's okay that Mary would say, you must have fucked little kids. Well, why didn't they show up to India and break my leg? I'm saying, Barry, why didn't he come by himself and break my leg? He's such a tough guy. Well, Barry, you know, it's a little bit different. 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 Barry, you know, it's a little bit and we didn't do nothing but play. And, uh, Look at his house, sure. folks. This is sure three sure years ago. Look how everything is dilapidated because uh, Barry don't take care of anything. Uh, you know, he can't even take care of himself. He's thing. got so fucking lesions on. on his arm yeah, and legs up, and probably chest. Barry has never had a job for more than five years at a time. A few little sticks here to pick up. That's why his fucking two little fingers have told me. He's never been in the hospital for five years at a time about getting evicted from it. Anybody that's been an expert Toe, toe guy, but yet puts the fucking steel bar on the ball of the bumper. He can work. He has literally allowed his kid to pay his way for the past three fucking years, man. His kid goes to work every day. Every day he has to work, he shows up for a shift, he goes in for charging. If he doesn't know, he's buying very cigarettes, his pop paint, his property tax, his car insurance. Uh, but Barry's a good dude, right? What's anybody uh, that's got anything yeah, good to say about Barry? How do you, how do you excuse uh, the fact that he can work, but he takes advantage Scott. of his kid? I'm going to get a hold of you about that Mach 1 you got and some other uh, cars you're going to be getting. A buddy of mine's got a whole bunch of vehicles that he's be running across. You'll see him on our channel. Hasn't happened, Barry. There's a 69 and a 70 Cadillac. Hey, Barry, I have a serious question before you cut this off. What happened to the video where you had off the, your your Mach One, or your Mach None, your Duster, and the Roadrunner together, and you were showing the difference between Big Block and Small Block? Because I mentioned that the other night, and now the video is gone. Thought you didn't delete videos, just like where you talked about that that fucking Duster having a 340 and a three speed, and I called you on it, and you deleted that video. Thought you didn't delete videos. So I don't know if they turn over. You don't have money for smokes. How the fuck is you going to have money for a lawyer? Well, turn over if it's over, it's probably the problem. So that's what we're going to try to do, huh? I mean, if you want to waste your fucking money on a lawyer and take a chance on going to jail, then go for it. He wants to sue somebody else. He wants to sue everybody. He wants to sue fucking Duke Energy. I mean, this dude's a fucking joke. He can't make it on his own. So he's got to let everybody else pay his bill. I got out of here and I got back home. He can't outwit us is his problem. Dead, so I put a new battery in it yesterday and then I fired it up last night with driving it around. Then it quit charging. So you can see right there. He's like a pig ass. rolling shit. I got a Hammersville Scott McKinney DNS used alternator from Scott McKinney over there at the uh, junkyard over there in Hammersville. It's called DNS. Hey Barry, are you still living the dream? I think not.
Yeah. I think it's I'm living your dream. Uh, it's uh, what is it, three seven? Because I'm like you, I didn't piss my life away. 1969. Yeah, that's her number. So check them out. I work hard for every fucking thing I have. DNS. Uh, that's had on there for forty five dollars. Come with a thirty day warranty. Um, actually, uh, there's no really warranty on electrical cars, but unlike you, I didn't get caught smoking crack with fucking Miss Brittany underneath the fucking bleachers. I talked to about it. I did put it on, installed it. There, water boy. Um, the battery I installed is a Duralast. So we put that in there, and it comes, you gotta take the back seat out, huh, get to the battery, and we're throwing the battery out, and now we're triple charging the battery with our little charger. Hey, back, Barry, that battery looks brand new. What they call alternator death could occur. We don't want the alternator uh, blowing because we got a low battery. Even though I keep this battery on charge, well, can your battery charge. blow? Can your alternator yeah. blow because your battery has a low charge? How the fuck would it blow if it's undercharged? Yeah, he's acting like it literally explodes. Well, the red light will come on once it's charged. No, it's still charging. Oh, there's that pus bubble. I'll go ahead and put the back seat back in it for the night. Barry, Barry. Barry, listen, man. I know you're going to hear this. If you want this shit to stop, then you need to come out and explain what you meant by Jeffrey's kid. Probably ain't even his. David's kid, Jeffrey's. Whatever. His kid, the man, Mako's kid, probably wasn't his. And to top it off, it was probably a mixed race baby. Ha, 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 ha. You need to come out and explain what you meant by that. How that's not racist. How you wasn't that's down in mixed race babies. Then you need to come out and explain what you meant by African Americans are nasty people that have ringworms in their hair full of head mice. And, and you said you said another word for African Americans, but you said it. And how the women are nastier. If you want this shit to stop, Barry, come out and say what you meant by all that. And what you meant by all the sexual shit you were saying towards little kids, how that was okay. We'll just, hold on, we'll just put that on the back, Barry. We'll forget about the sexual shit. Just come out and say what you meant by when you said them things, Barry. Make a video about it, Barry. Explain it away. Because we'll do a review to it and we'll just tear it apart. No, 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 I don't want him to come out. No, I don't want him to come out and say it, Barry. I mean, you can't deny you said it. You might as well try to get ahead of it. I'm still trying to help you, Barry. Got it done. So we've been busy today. We've been chainsawing and changing all night. Unless you put a fucking missile hit in the leg. So we're getting a little bit more busy here. You know, it gets just getting nicer out. Sun's going down, as you can see. It's about done. It was the last moment I could shoot a video before it got too dark. Got the job done, so that's just for us here at Beaver and Sun Garage. Where you would have lost your check fucking balance, that would have been nice. Beaver Garage, uh, check us out, uh, Instagram, Beaver Garage, and uh, that's it. We're check out. out his Twitter, Barry Beamer. Look at his likes and see the nasty shit he was saying. You guys have a cool one. Go on to another one. This is Scott Speed Shot, Jed Dive, Jed, his son, uh, excuse me, his son, his father, he is.